Hello and welcome to our programming entitled In Search of Freedom and Opportunity. Today we're here with a super musician whose name is Serge Dorr. Good morning. Good morning. How Good morning. are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Serge came from Haiti, not so much for freedom, but certainly for opportunity, yes? I think that's correct. Yeah. yeah. And so you came here in 1979 to go to school, to, to go, go to, to college. To go to college. And uh, I went to Stony Brook University, where I studied chemistry for four years. In New years. York. In New York. Yeah. And, uh, but I've always been uh, you know, a musician. You know, and you come from a musician family. From a family of musicians, from my grandfather uh, to my children today. You know, we've always you know, had that natural ability. You know, so there are four generations of musicians in your family. Currently, uh, I have archive. You know, that goes back to my grandfather to today, you know, covering four generations of music in the family. <laughs> but you're also an artist. You've painted, among your other paintings, these two beautiful paintings that are behind us. Well, yes, I am an artist, and thank you so much for the compliment. Thank you. Well, you're definitely an artist. <laughs> thank you. You're, you're a musician artist, and, and an you're artist. a painting artist. <laughs> um, and so you have found opportunity here in the United States? Yes, I have, uh, because, uh, you know, when you have uh, what I consider to be like a golden heritage, you know, because, uh, you know, the music in the family goes back so far, and since I have kept, you know, all of the recordings that, you know, my grandfather, my father had made, then I have a tremendous amount of musical resources at my disposal. And, and they uh, were both string bass players? Uh, my grandfather was, uh, he was a string bassist. He introduced the string bass in Haiti from, from France. You know, he studied in France. And my father, you know, also was a string bassist, you know, all of his life. And, and then I picked up, you know, after both of them, you know. And, uh, but in terms of, uh, you know, answering your questions for opportunity, because I think that when, uh, when someone is, is, you know, has such a, such a huge database of music, uh, you know, the opportunities to be able to express, you know, the music, you know, to be able to produce the music. I think it's, uh, it's one of the great, you know, things that, you know, being here, you know, in, in this country is really offering me to, to be able to do. And you found your voice on the cello. I found my voice on the cello, and I have made it my baby. <laughs> so, play us a little bit of something where the cello is featured. And, and, serenade, and serenade at the same time. <laughs> and so you, your new CD is out. Yes, it's out. It's called Creole Cello. Creole Cello. Why? Well, uh, you know, uh, if we, when we go back in history, uh, when Louisiana was a French colony, so was Haiti. Right. And the same currents, you know, that give birth to jazz in New Orleans, uh, you know, uh, commonly what we refer to as, you know, traditional, uh, you know, classical music and the West African influence. Well, those two currents also existed in Haiti at the same time. And there used to be uh, a, a flow of musicians from Haiti to New Orleans, vice versa. And you and wrote all but two of the pieces on this new CD? Yes, all but two. I have eight of my, you know, original compositions. And uh, I've got a cover song, you know, which is like a wonderful ballad that I, that I play, you know, a traditional jazz standard. And uh, I also have, uh, you know, something that uh, belongs to the Haitian folklore, you know, which I'm deeply, 
uh, grateful, you know, for, for having, you know, received so much music. And you go so back music. to Haiti uh, yes, periodically? Yes, I, I go back to Haiti periodically. You know, I, you know, currently uh, organize, uh, you know, every summer, you know, uh, in conjunction with the French cooperation, uh, you know, I uh, organize workshops, you know, music workshops. For children? For children, you know, and also other aspiring, you know, young musicians. And, um, you know, I conduct, uh, you know, a summer camp, a music summer camp. That's wonderful. And, uh, well, you know, it's a way for me, uh, you know, to give back, you know, to, you know, for what I have received, well, what I received. that's a wonderful thing <laughs> that you do. And well, you're also you. a music teacher here. Yes, I, I'm also a music teacher. You know, I'm a certified, you know, Broward County, uh, you know, music teacher. And you teach four different instruments? Uh, I currently teach four different instruments. I teach the cello. Uh, I teach the string bass. You know, I teach the guitar and the piano, you know, four, four instruments, actually. Well, Pembroke Pines is very interested in the arts, as you know, in yes. all the arts. Yes. And music is certainly one of the most important arts that, that we have. And it's wonderful to have you well, in our city. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elaine. So for OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you so much for watching this discussion with Serge Dorr in the program that we you've just seen. Thank you again.